Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for the Elizabeth Jackson Legacy Award. Ms. Antoinette Holt, will you come on up? I'm still thrilled to announce the Elizabeth Jackson Legacy Award today because this is named after a pillar of community, an individual who has selflessly served for many, many years, and that is the consummate definition of our winner. Nominated by multiple individuals and organizations, this phenomenal person is an attorney, a women's health leader, an innovator. It's not, it's not Antoinette, I just turned to her to embrace her for a moment. Y'all got me once on that. She was a primary. She is the Director of Women's Health Services at Genesaret Free Clinic. She was a committee member, a planner, and the moment we did this conference, she said, Sonny, I'm going to bring a bus. And I said, okay. And she said, and Sonny, I'm going to do all of these things. And she did all of them. And then she said, what more else can I do? That is who Lisa Hayes is. thoughtfully think through, and then she comes back to you and she's like, here's what I can do. And it's always, here's what I can do. Here's what I can do. She's on the IU Simon Cancer Center for Health Equity Advisory Committee, the Indiana Cancer Consortium, the All In for Health Advisory Board of the Clin Indiana Clinical and Translational Sciences Institute. Man, that is a, that is a title. She is the she's at the Susan G. Komen Tissue Bank at IU Simon Cancer Center, a woman of influence, a leader at Indiana Minority Health Partners, the founder of Pink Forever Ending Disparities that not only supports many, many, many women, that's what she did. She was taken from, as her own journey of breast cancer, patients, survivors, whatever, and she gave back in multitudes to say, here we are, and here we are supporting the community with your grace, your love, your compassion, your endless energy. I would have to drink that much coffee that we had this morning every day to even match a minutia of what Lisa Hayes has. She is the founder of Red Alliance because, ladies and gentlemen, when we talked about heart health, she said, there's a disparity here and we are not addressing it. Even with our many, many, many huge organizations, we're not addressing it. And so she said, let me bring some black clinicians, faith-based leaders. Let's talk about this. And she made something that just several years ago was taboo, right? It was taboo. To say, we have an annual conference. This is how we're going to address it. And this is how we're going to save lives. Lisa Hayes, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to yield the microphone to you because, ma'am, I could be out here for hours with the accolades of the work you've done in the community. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, you got me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I have to share this. I, when we were planning this uh, conference, I volunteered to chair the uh, Elizabeth Jackson Legacy Award. Uh, that was real awkward, folks. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> and I was sending in, and this is the plan. I'm getting the committee together, and Sonny and Antoinette were kind of crickets. They were disappeared. I was starting to go, I was feeling some kind of way, actually. <laughs> Even up to last week, I was saying, okay, what are we doing here? Who are going to war? Where, where are the nominations? And you got me, Antoinette. <laughs> I think a, a few years ago, we got Antoinette, so this is payback. But for whomever nominated me, uh, thank you. I appreciate you for acknowledging my work. Uh, it's really all for the community and, and the many women that I serve. And, so many words I've heard during these last two days that, that just keep ringing through my head. Uh, transformational, impactful, and who's your crew? And there are a few people in this room that I consider part of my crew. Uh, I appreciate you, you know who you are, uh, because we couldn't do this work uh, without folks like you. And the folks that are still here right now that uh, stay here these two, these two days, um, we're the ones that are gonna make a difference. So again, thank you for recognizing 
uh, my work, and I hope to continue serving uh, the community in the same capacity that I have been. All right, have we enjoyed ourselves these last two days? No, that, have we enjoyed ourselves these last two days? Excellent. Have you had a good time? Have you learned a lot? I hope you've learned a lot. I've enjoyed everything differently. But before we before we do closing remarks, we got one more thing to give out. So this individual person works really, really hard. She won't let you pay us. She won't let you do anything and all this stuff. But no, let me take it back. She will let you pay. But she won't, you know, do anything and all this other stuff. So Sunny Lou Williams has worked really hard this year on this conference. Would you agree? Yes. yes, so let's give Sunny Williams a hand. I would dare not be a miss if I did not recognize her for chairing all the 50 meetings that she had with the community, <laughs> making sure everything was on task, telling me what to do. Not a lot of people get to do that. Telling me what to do and where to go and all this other stuff and where to put stuff and different things and when to sit down and hush and shut up and all this other stuff. So I would like to recognize Sunny Williams and thank her very much for what she's done. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then thank you. Oh, we have any other? Yes, sorry. yes. <laughs> I think I popped her back. Anyway, um, I want to thank you because, you know, without you, we cannot do the Minority Health Partners. I want to thank you for those that have been a Minority Health Partner since the very beginning, day one. And if you just came on board last week, you are still family to us because that's what I see us. I see us as family. I see us working together for the great good for Indiana because, again, you know, they may talk about Indiana, but Indiana is our state and it's our opportunity to be able to help people. And if you have a certain heart, that's pretty much basically why we're here and what we do. Right, and so it's an opportunity for us to be able to be a blessing and to do great things in our state and to be a trendsetter because believe it or not, we do trendset a lot of things. Now, there's a lot of things again, like I said today, that we still got to work on, but we've come so far, so I'm so grateful. Let me thank Martin University for allowing us to be able to be here in this great, wonderful place. Austin University, if you ever get the opportunity to come to Indianapolis, please come visit Martin University. I want to thank all our minority health partners because, again, you make a difference. Thank the University of Indianapolis for helping us and providing us our CEUs because we showed up needed. And thank you very much, Erica, and the wonderful Tracy back there. I appreciate you too. I want to thank everyone that had the opportunity, all our exhibitors, thank you so much, all those that are going to be participating this afternoon, because it's such great work that we get to do with the community. Hopefully this afternoon is going to be awesome. And I just want to thank you because you continue to make the difference. If nobody told you, I want to thank you for what you do in your community. I want to thank you for what you do in your job day in, day out. They may not never say nothing, but know that you are loved and appreciated and valued. And you continue this great work. It's hard work, it's tedious work, but it's well worth it in the end. So thank you for this opportunity and space for me to be able to speak. And again, anything you said about me goes to the wonderful people that I get an opportunity to work with. I want to thank. Um, the lovely tech server folks. I want to thank Free that's been over in the corner all the time. DJ Marita. That's what I told her. I was like, the DJ Free, that's my sound effects. And um, that's what happens when you go on three hours sleep. You know, it's all, uh, all this other stuff. And then I want to thank the Office of Minority Hill. Thank you again. I appreciate it. I'm so very fortunate to be able to work with all the people that are under that. And you out there in Zoom TV land. Yes. All you out there in Zoom land, I'm so grateful because you didn't have to take time to look at us on one of your square blocks and different things during the day. So I appreciate you tuning in to us these last two days. We hope that you have gathered and done something. I've probably gone beyond my time to time she was trying to get me to do that. So um, I'm going to shut up now and thank you. Now look, next year is coming. 
And if you want to be a minority health partner, I know she gave that shout out early before, but you too can be part of this wonderful dynamic and family of lovely people. Aren't we a wonderful family? Yes, we are. So you can be part of the wonderful minority health partners. It, you don't have to be tied to health. If you happen to be watching us in some land, it's like, hmm, I want to make a difference. Come help us make a difference and make a difference in Indiana. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so very much. Thank <laughs> you.